You need some pine cones, I think that's what they call. I found that on the beach. It looks like miniature durians. Durian is a kind of fruit. Next, you will need chalkboard paint, of course. I got this from Typo. It was quite a reasonable price. I'm not sure if you can see how much it was. And a paintbrush, of course. And last but not least, you will need a corkboard. Not to mention that you will also need some tape to take the edge so you won't paint the wooden frame. You're going to paint a base layer first because you want to seal in everything between the cork and all the bumps. Also, make sure that you newspaper your surface before starting. Start by painting on the second layer at once, after the first one is dry, of course. Okay, so after the paint dried, I took it for a test drive, and it turns out that cork is not a suitable surface to make a chalkboard. Because, you see, after you rub it, the excess chalk will sit into the holes between the cork, and it's stuck there, you can't remove it. So there is always this... Like, it's always there, it won't go away, so cork is not a good material for this, so this DIY was kind of a fail, but not to worry. Thank goodness that this cork board I bought has a backside, and the backside is a cardboard, so we shall use a cardboard and made another one, so I'll see you in a bit. When the paint is dry, you can either choose to leave it that way, or you can do a border. This is the one without a border. I had wrote down my to-do list for today. This is the one that hasn't been decorated yet, and I think it looks fine like this, but I'm going to go ahead and decorate it. So I'll see you in a bit. To make the border, simply apply a hearty amount of hot glue gun and just stick your pine cones there. 